This is a contrast NAND CT scan of 47 years old male. He is a known case of hepatitis C. See the wavy hepatic outline. This is large mass here. I'm sorry for the poor contrast. I'll explain you the reason for it. Now this is the large mass here. This one. It has involved left lobe of liver. Segment number 2. Segment number 3, 4A and 4B. No, I go up. Tumor thrombus has grown into the left hepatic vein and into inferior vena cava. This is inferior vena cava. Now as I trace up, tumor thrombus has grown into the right atrium. This is right atrium. It has grown into right atrium. Now I come back again. Tumor thrombus is extending into both branches of the portal vein. Somewhere here is the left branch of portal vein. This is the right branch of portal vein. And the portal vein itself. This is the portal vein. This is, these are the branches of the hepatic artery. Now since enhancement of liver depends in the phase that we usually do CT scans, it is the portal venous phase. These are the arteries. These, now since the portal vein is completely thrombosed, the tumor thrombus is growing into, this is the right branch of the portal vein. This is the artery here. This one is the right branch. Now since these are thrombosed, so the blood flow into the liver is quite meager and that depends only upon the supply of the hepatic artery. So that is the reason why the growth has not enhanced to the degrees that it should have enhanced. But please note that the tumor thrombus has grown into the left hepatic vein and the inferior and the inferior vena cava and ultimately into the right heart. This is the ascites here. There are certain lymph nodes like this one. This is the lymph node. This is the metastatic lymph node here. This is the thrombus in the portal vein. Now I trace it down. This is the spiromesentic vein clear of thrombus. This is the splenic vein which is clear of thrombus. This is the acetic fluid here. Now you see, this is the greater momentum. It is of normal density. No metastatic disease in the greater momentum. 